The history of Lake Angora Nature Park began in 1957 as an especially protected nature area. In 2004, the site was included in the Natura 2000 project, which covers such areas when they are of European importance. Later, the park was also included in the International Ramsar Convention. The park is unique and extremely rich in species. It is one of the most important areas for the protection of calcareous fens, saw edge, and other characteristic species. The Create and Show project was organized under the LIFE project, reduction of carbon dioxide emissions by restoring degraded peatlands in the northern European lowlands. The aim was to popularize the importance of the project in terms of the environment, as well as to inform local residents about its objectives and processes. The Create and Show workshop involved young people from the Matsrugs High School. We worked with them to produce stop-motion films about the Lake Angora Nature Park. This was a unique opportunity for us, and it also allowed the students to learn about the environment as well as many new things. They could test various techniques and develop their creativity. In my opinion, the young people did the work very well. Before producing the Create and Show movies, the students were addressed by the project manager, biologist Mara Pakalne. She talked about the essence of the project and shared many interesting facts about the history of Lake Angure, its formation, its importance for the climate and nature conservation. This helped the young people to understand why it is important to conserve Myers and to develop their visual story. My name is Mara, and I come from the University of Latvia. Perhaps some of you will become biologists or botanists who are involved in natural research. Today I would like to tell you a bit about Myers. Why? It is because this is a very special area. Lake Angora Nature Park has characteristic Myers. Did you know that this area was once under the Baltic Sea? Have you heard anything else about the sea's other stages? This used to be the Littorina Sea. That was long ago, 4,000 years ago. There was a different sea, not Lake Angore, but today we see the lake. In this picture, you can see that Lake Angore is becoming covered with reeds and other plants. During the project, the reeds were cut. Why do you think that is necessary? It is because many birds nest among the reeds, and if the lake becomes overgrown, there is no place for them to do so. This creates a pattern that is very important for the lives of many species of waterfowl. Myers are the result of a filling in of lakes. Have you ever visited lake coasts which seem to swing? The Slitera National Park is nearby and there we can find old dunes with water between them. About 4,000 years ago there was such water. Myers develop in such water basins over the course of time. The LIFE project, Reduction of Carbon Dioxide Emissions by Restoring Degraded Peatlands in the Northern European Lowlands involves not just the Lake Angore Nature Park in Latvia, but also other sites such as the Augstrose and Baltizers Meyer Nature Reserves. After modest lecture, the students learned how to produce cartoons with simple tools. The mentors of the workshop were new media artists and cameramen. After that, the young people wrote their own screenplays and then shot and edited the films. The films were shown and analyzed, and the mentors were the ones who helped in this process. I am wearing the Create and Show shirt. Why is it black? That is because cameramen must remain in the background. We, the Create and Show team, have chosen the black shirt so that others know who we are. The young people seem to be shy. They're not ready yet to start the work, but once we get them into the rhythm, everything will be all right. It appears that girls have a clearer sense of screenplays. They are a bit shy when communicating with each other, but it seems that the film will be good. 
We had to produce cartoons that involved drawing and cutting out the shapes, then we took photos and assembled everything. Our topic was types of mires. First we discussed how a mire develops from a lake. Lai izveidotu scenārijas apmaušanu filmiņai, protams, ir jāizdomā pirmkārt stāsts. Before writing a screenplay, we must first come up with a story. Next, we have to find out how long the film will be and understand how shots are turned into seconds. It may seem simple, just take the photographs and that is that. Math is involved in this, however. If, for instance, we show just one second of a swimming fish, then that will not be enough for three shots because then the activity will be very brief. Twenty shots are needed to show how the fish flows. During the writing of a screenplay and the production of the film, it is very important to track the number of shots that are taken so as to avoid unnecessary jump cuts and to ensure that the film is understandable. We were drawing, but sometimes we also used fabric. We understood that there was no point in depicting our idea with brown chalk. That seemed very small. Then we took fabric and used it to show how a lake fills in with vegetation. That also looked nicer. Our film is about the origins of Lake Angore. First there was a meteorite which crashed into the ground and created a crater. Everything exploded, rain then filled up the hole with water, fish fell into the water from the sky, and then along came a fisherman. I like these shots better than the previous ones. Our job is to produce a film which shows how to protect nature. We show how nature is polluted. People mess it up and then animals find that their habitats have been destroyed. That makes them unhappy. This is such a short film. It is clearly understandable and easy to produce, but we must think both about nature and the animals. The film has no text, so it is not necessary to record it in different languages. People who speak any language will be able to understand the idea. We had too many ideas and opinions and couldn't agree on the idea that we were going to implement. At first I was resentful because they changed my idea. Our topic was why it is important to protect nature. Why must we protect it and how can we do that? In the film we showed how a fire can erupt in a forest which someone has polluted, but then there is karma because the person becomes smothered. It was good that we could take small breaks during the process. It is hot outside. It is possible to relax in a different way than usual. When the temperature outside is plus 30 degrees, it is harder to work. We also worked inside and we were lucky that there was water nearby. When it got hot, we could soak our feet and that was good. The young people are positive. They are not reserved and they can invent everything by themselves. It is not the case that we have to explain everything to them. For me, the job of a mentor means getting out from my comfort zone. I personally prefer to work individually, and when I do my work, I do not communicate with others. This was hard, but next time it will be much easier.
Es domāju, varbūt, ja vēl kādu reizi kaut ko tādu pamēģināt, tad jau liktos daudz vieglāk. Visgrūtākais, manuprāt, bija... It was hard to work in the hot weather because I have mostly worked indoors and during cooler periods of time. It was hard to work during the summer. I very much welcome the fact that I could leave my comfort zone and learn many new things, not just about films and photography, but also nature. I had never visited the Lake Angora Nature Park, and this was something very new for me. I think that it is absolutely important that the young people are not shy. If you have done something incorrectly, no one will bite or blame you. In our case, it is impossible to do anything wrong. If you are not sure of something, feel free to ask questions. We will tell you as much as we can. That is why we are here. I would like to suggest that all young people take part in this kind of project if that is possible. This is experience that cannot be gained every day. Such opportunities must be used. Without any doubt, the Create and Show workshop achieved its purpose. Explain to local residents why researchers work here and why the protected nature area is meant for nature and for people. It is always essential to make sure that there is no misunderstanding of the activities in which researchers engage in nearby forests and mires. The young people who took part in the workshop shared their films on social networks so as to reach their peers. When they went home, they told their parents about what they had learned. This means that many people will learn all about the aims and objectives of this life project.